Are you serious? You mean God believe in us and you playing with this? Hmm. These motherfuckers don't believe in us and God did. It's cheap. What's good, man? Empire. TG. Stand the fuck up. I fuck with y'all, man. We at 700. We at 800 plus subscribers. When y'all see this video, we'll be at 2,000 subscribers. That's just how I, I post my videos. I speak on my videos. I record them in advance. So by the time you see this video, we'll be at 2,000 subscribers. I'm grateful and thankful. Without y'all... I wouldn't have the reach and pull that I do on YouTube. Man, I remember when I was at 30. Bro, I remember when I was at five and nobody fucking believed in me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Empire, TG, I'm grateful and thankful. That's all I'm gonna say. The most high know. The most high know. The universe know. My highest self know. I'm grateful and fucking thankful. Man. I remember when I was at five subscribers. <sighs> what a time to be alive, man. I got a paper rolled up. I got some gas in here. I'm not going to smoke it on this video. I'm going to smoke it after. I'm probably gonna smoke it on the next video. But for this video, I gotta talk my shit, man. I just had a conversation with my one of my homies. His sister likes me. His sister really likes me. <sighs> to keep it a buck with you, I believe his sister thinks that I'm the ideal guy that she should bet everything on, which is not the wrong bet if you're as a woman, all my women out here, if you're going to bet on a guy to to be your leader, to be the one that you can depend on, it would be me. No doubt. It would be me. So she believes I'm that guy. But because I have so much love and respect for her brother, I cannot allow her to get the treatment that I would give to my women. These are the things you have to deal with as a man. As soon as you become cold in seduction, as soon as you become cold in your spiritual astuteness, in your mentality, in your physicality, in your bread, you have to deal with situations like this. You have to deal with homies, girls wanting you. You have to deal with your homies, sisters wanting you. You have to deal with things that aren't in your best interest. But we charge it to the fucking game because it's a part of life. It's a part of leveling up. As soon as you reach new levels, you reach new devils. As soon as you reach new levels, you reach new devils. Why? Because the universe only gives you what you're prepared for. If the universe gives you an obstacle and you succumb to it, you, you, you a pipe and you bust under pressure, you wasn't built for this shit. The universe tested you because the universe knew you was a little hoe. Stop watching my video, hoe ass motherfucker. The universe only give you things that you should be prepared for. Whether it's eviction, whether it's losing your job, whether it's going broke, whether it's the chick that you love leaving you. These are things, these are obstacles that the universe push you through to see if you really who you think you are. Are you who you say you are? You tell people you that guy, but are you really that guy? The universe is going to test you to see if you really that guy. You tell everybody you discipline, but the universe gonna test you to see if you discipline. 
And that's just how life works, man. You have to embrace it. I was talking to my brother and I told him, brother, you're going to go through some shit and time is going to seem like it's at a standstill. It's going to seem like once you go through this shit, once you're going through this shit, that life is moving slow. But it's a reason for that. Your mindset during these periods of time where life is moving slow is going to determine your trajectory in the future. If you have the right mindset, you're going to look at this situation one year, two year, three years away and say, I'm thankful. Thank you, most high. Thank you, self. That I had the mindset that I would be OK no matter what. These are the things that matter long term. Your fucking mindset, your spiritual astuteness. Money is important, but it's the fourth on the totem pole. Number one comes soul. Number two comes mind. Number three comes body and health. Number four comes money. If you get money first, you're going to go through things that make you have to get soul, mind, and body. If you get soul, mind, and body first, money will come as if money was the easiest thing to get in the world. Peace, love, prosperity. 999. Take fucking notes. You see me, I got the nice ass cut. I'm on my grown and sexy shit. Me amo jefe. Hmm. Buenos noches, mi amigo. Are you serious? You mean God believe in us and you playing with this? Hmm. These motherfuckers don't believe in us and God did.